the operator ensures that the vessel is depressurized and inserts the simple handle into the pressure warning device and turns anti-clockwise. This action confirms that the vessel is depressurized. The pressure warning device is integrated into the locking mechanism and as the operator withdraws the pressure warning device he removes a segment of the locking band. Before removal of this segment the locking band provides a full 360 degree locking effect. Without the removal of the segment and hence the integrated pressure warning device it is not possible for the door to be opened. The operator now inserts the handle into the drive link and turns through half a turn. This brings the two ends of the band together, allowing the band to clear the neck and permitting the door to swing open. The double pivot hinge, incorporating self-lubricating bearings, allows the door to be swung through 270 degrees, keeping the seal well away from the work area and away from the danger of accidental damage. The closing the door is simply a reversal of the opening procedure. The seal face is wiped clean and the door swung into the neck. The locking band is expanded and the final segment and pressure warning device is fitted. The pressure warning device is replaced and tightened. The band lock too is now ready to receive pressure.